we got the spectrogram, and we got three samples that we're going to take a look at. We're going to listen, and we're going to look at the same time. I love this piece of software, and I'll be using it as much as I can. We're going to be talking about frequency graphs and what you're looking at and how that impacts what you listen to. Metallica Blackened, which many people might be familiar with, we've got the kick drum isolated on that track, and we're going to be listening to that as the example of a kick drum. The four-string bass guitar is going to be from a teacher, um, who shared their samples for free and I'm going to be playing that because he does a lot of different riffs pulls and releases It's very applicable to this video and then the other is going to be the bass hit from 50 cents in the club um, I believe it's from the get rich or die trying uh, LP. So let's go ahead and get started with that Okay, before we continue, um, just a friendly reminder, music is what this is all about. Whether it costs $50 or $5,000, it's designed to play back audio. When reviewers on the internet, whether they're on YouTube or on a blog or any place, are making declarative statements about something having amazing bass or poor bass or slow bass or great mids or poor mids or fantastic treble or poor treble or great extension or roll off ask them what music specifically not even genre ask for the song i'm sure most people out there that i'm familiar with in this hobby my peers would be more than happy to answer that you need as much info as you can before you make purchases because there's so many options out there for you and some of them are expensive some of them will give you the reward of that investment and others absolutely will not Part of that is related to getting all the info you can to assure that you get satisfied and getting advice from many people, including at least one person that listens to music that's very similar to your library is very, very important. Don't ever hesitate to ask, why am I speaking into this mic? It's not even plugged in yet. This is for the Spectrogram. It's all about music. I put it in front of you guys all the time. I talk about it in all the videos. Ask, ask the questions ask for people to be specific when they talk about the awesomeness of something. I'm going to do a video for the Elysium and I'll be very specific with the awesomeness and why I think it's awesome. And questions are always welcome. So let's get back into the spectrogram. Okay, let's start with the music. Let's always start with the music. This whole topic in this video was actually born a year ago when I had the Thea Audio Monarch in my possession. It was the flagship that they offered it still is to this day it's loved by many it's loved less by people that have library that's similar to mine uh, and this video is way overdue because now there's a, a clone uh, in the variation by Moondrop that basically copied what was kind of a unique bass tuning by the Monarch um, and made it its own but in that sense it put itself up to be put in this video because I don't have the Monarch with me anymore but this is this is pretty much the same thing but the, the variation wasn't where this was started this started a year ago and it started on this album the fourth album by led zeppelin and it started on a track called when the levy breaks and i noticed immediately that the bass drum or the kick drum that is supposed to sound significant sounded uh cut off it sounded the same and i believe i described that in my video like it was muted i think i described it as a muted kick drum it's there but it's abruptly stopped and other things take over it was not natural and it, it confuse me and then I looked at the graph which isn't this one the Elysian let me take this out for just a second the graph of the moon drop was quite like this and when I was looking at where the mid bass where where it's pinched off and takes its mid glide till it gets to the gain region which is over here at 1k I noticed that it was unusual in its emphasis in the sub bass and then when I started listening to other sets, I realized that it was the tuning of the bass that was the problem with the Monarch and why I preferred the clairvoyance over it. A lot of people now, a year later, will recommend if it's a rock-based library, you might want to go with the Claire. And if you listen to all this stuff, the Monarch's got better technicalities. I don't know what that means. I think that a kick drum is its own technicality if it's not played back right. Let's take a look at this set. Let me put the Elysian back in. Let me go ahead and close this. So this was started on the fourth album by Led Zeppelin. We'll go ahead and close that down. There's a magic number we need, and that's 10 dB and how long it takes to get that. 10 dB is a significant amount uh, of volume, actually. So let's find the peak of the variation and the Elysian at the same time. They're right about the same. 69.6 is where it, we're looking. 
the green. And now we're going to drop it by 10, so we're going to look for this green to turn to 59.6 and find out where that is. Okay, 185 hertz. At 185 hertz, we've gone 10 dB from 30 to 185. That is a rapid descent, and that means that everything after 185 is not being emphasized nearly as much, not even close to as much as everything prior to 185. So keep that in mind, 10 dB, 185 hertz. And then we've got the Elysian that's, it doesn't, it doesn't even reach 10 dB. I've got three samples. Metallica blackened, kick drum is isolated, uh, bass guitar riffs, four string, and 50 cent in the club. We're going to go ahead and start with the kick drum. And we're, we've got the filter set at where the variation and the monarch are really doing their thing, between 20 and about 185. So let's go ahead and start this. I think it should probably sound obviously muted to you if you don't understand what I'm talking about. This is how it sounded on the Monarch and it actually sounds on the variation. Now that's to 185. We're going to take where the actual practical area is like the Elysium treats it. Let's take a look at that again. This corrects itself at the ideal point audio file at about 500 before it glides out. Let's show how that impacts real instruments. This is 500 hertz. We've collected the rest of the kick drum. And then let's go ahead and raise this up to where we left off at around 185. Let's listen at the beginning again. Same part. Those are the tips. It sounds like a snare, actually. It's not, though. This region isn't gone. It's being overwhelmed by what's prior to it, an enormous amount of emphasis. It has great impact in your ability to discern this. Is it actually there? Uh, it is, but it's very hard to pick up. And for all intents and purposes, it sounds like it's not. And it sounded like it was being pinched on the Monarch, and it sounds the same on the variations. It's not really an ideal tuning for uh, a rock-based library. And if we were to take the whole thing, like the Elysian, and like sets that cost $50, and do the whole thing, and play that same thing back, you would get the entire kick drum. And not just part of it. like you're getting with the Monarch or you're getting with the Variation. If you're feeling awkward or uncomfortable or not happy, uh, you're too close to the gear. Let it go. This is tuning. This is the way that they decided to tune it. And that is a kick drum. And it sounds like it's being pinched off at the top because it literally, really, actually is. Let's go back to 5 one last time before we click our way out of here. Go back to 185. And those are the tips. And you can hear it when you listen. It's quite obvious. Let's go ahead and stop that. Now I'm going to take this out. I'm going to drop it. We don't need it. Yes. I'm going to leave that. This is a four-string bass guitar. Is it not? No, that's 50 cent. Let's go to the four-string bass guitar. Four-string bass guitar is even more of an issue because two of the strings are being put up with great emphasis and two of the strings are not being put up with great emphasis. Let me give you an example of what that sounds like. I want you to pay attention because this should be in the video. This region right here, we're starting at about 26. This right here is going to sound like uh, almost like hi-hats. This, this is a bass guitar right here. Go ahead and listen to this. One more time, just so you can get what I'm talking about before we proceed. Ch -ch 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 
That's the area that's being emphasized by the monarch and the variations. Now let's take this up to five. And then I'm going to take away all of that because there's four strings. And I'm going to go all the way up and just take the area that's not being emphasized and see how much is there. We're going to go back to six. And listen for that part that sounded like uh, like hi-hats. Those are, those are two gu bass guitar strings. Instead of a ch 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 that's kind of a amazing actually let's go let's let's just that one more time 20 let's actually let's go to 30 because that's what it's really emphasizing and then take it down to 185 and then go back to this point and then play it go back to that point one more time it doesn't even sound like the same musical instrument actually now if we take this four string bass guitar and we tune it like the Elysian or any other affordable set that has a slow long glide and we allow for it to be played back as if nothing was being emphasized over the rest and we play that same replay that's a bass guitar so in order of impact first would be the four string bass it's literally taking two strings putting it over the other two you can hear that right there we can listen to more but you really don't need to or, or do you let's start at the beginning of that sample and listen to this in its entirety that's the regular version this is the version that you will get with tuning like the monarch or the variation And this is the region that is treated in a nor more appropriate and normal way that is not really actually present with the variation. So we're not talking about tips or muting we're talking about almost the removal and masking overwhelming of two strings of a four string instrument it's really amazing so let me go ahead and pull this back down and the last sample that I'm going to play really quick mm, yes let's save that the last one I'm going to do is 50 cent Fit, hip hop doesn't seem to be impacted quite as much it, the, mm, hip hop is a wide variety mm, Rap a lot records. Uh, Houston, Texas, they got lower hits. I used to have to adjust my car audio system because it was different from listening to something like Tupac, which usually seemed to be death row mix different. Mm, depends on the studio, the artist, usually the studio. That's the area emphasized by something like a monarch or a variation. This is the part that is slightly lacking. so that drop that they've got on this and then slight scoop would actually be pulling down the lower fundamentals of 50 cents voice or any male voice that existed down there i don't think it would be an ideal set for vocals actually but in the context of bass it doesn't seem to be impacting the hits really that much a little bit not really ideally to be getting the whole replay i'm not going to play that because i'll probably be doing the video so that's it for this 
Um, I think that stuff that's tuned like the Elysian Acoustic, and again, you can pay from $50 to $5,000 for that. You don't need to spend a lot of money for that type of tuning. Um, it's usually done by a dynamic driver on cheap sets and done by just a dynamic driver in combination with balanced armatures, ESTs, etc., and some kind of a hybrid with Empire Ears or Elysian Acoustic, so you can get a much better playback for a lot more money. But you don't need to spend a lot of money to get good bass guitar or get authentic kick drums or get a good hip hop replay. If you get something like the Monarch or you get something like the Variations, you're going to be changing the replay quality of some of your library. I just showed you how that works. You want to do that is up to you. Uh, I choose not to. And again, this started with the Monarch and it, I just happen to have the Variations in my possession right now. And it looks like they pretty much ripped that company um and that tuning and it so happens i wasn't a, ever a fan of it that's it for this video i'll be doing another one for the mids i'm going to use a set that's a good example of mids presented well and there's all kinds of examples of mids not done well but that'll be in a different video so i'll go ahead and end this one now Coming for Queens. Coming. Coming.